Hey everyone, how are we all doing this week? I hope that last week's video on how to do a close reading was helpful. I want you to put what you learned last week into practice as you begin reading Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. You can find the PDF and Mobi files of the book on our Google Classroom page, as well as the prompt for the persuasive essay you must write for your competencies assessment. This week, we are going to look at another aspect of literary analysis, identifying and analyzing quotes. We worked a bit with using quotes in our own writing this year, but the key to picking good quotes for your own writing is being able to identify the context and provide analysis for quotes from a text on its own. Whether you are aware of it or not, you have all been answering quote analysis questions in class discussions and assessments. These are times when your teacher provided with you with a quote from a text and asked you to say where the quote came from, who said it, what was the significance of the quote, or anything of that sort. To get our brains working, let's start with a do now question. I want you to take a few minutes to think about this quote taken from the book, The Giver. The quote is, thank you for your childhood. I want you to think back to when you read the book and then complete the following steps. One, identify the context of the quote. In other words, who said the quote? Who did they say it to? And what influenced the character to utter these words? Two, identify the significance of the quote. Why was this an important quote in The Giver? What impact did it have on the plot, characters, you as the reader, or the overall message and purpose of the story? Pause the video now and complete the do now on the Google Classroom page. Okay. Now that you've completed the Do Now on the Google Classroom page, let's go through the analysis together. For the first part of our quote analysis, we were simply identifying the context of the quote. First, let's think about which character said this line in the book. If you think back to the giver, can you remember which character was the leader of the community? Hint, this person was in charge of running the ceremonies? If you remembered the chief elder, then you were correct. When each of the Twelves was given their assignment, the Chief Elder would thank them for their childhood, signifying that their childhood had come to an end. Why was this a significant quote? The Ceremony of Twelve was a turning point in The Giver, providing Jonas with a new purpose, being the receiver, and introducing the reader to a new and very important character, The Giver. This quote also gave the reader some insight into how the community functioned. Your childhood ended at the age of 12, and from then on, your own enjoyment and freedom came second to the good of the larger community. Now that our do now is out of the way, and we've got ourselves thinking about quote analysis, we are going to dive into how to write the most complete answer to quote analysis questions you may come across on your competencies assessments. Beyond identifying who said the quote, we should also ask ourselves the following questions. Number one, what is the meaning of this quote? In other words, consider the following. What is the author or the characters trying to say to the reader in this quote? And what influenced the character or author to say this? The second question we need to keep in mind. How is this quote connected to another situation found in the text? Consider these questions when writing your answer. Is this in relation to an event that already happened or will happen in the future? Think flashback or foreshadowing. And what is the significance of this quote to the story, argument, or plot of the text? The last question we need to keep in mind. How does this quote develop the characters, themes, conflict, or other aspects of the text? To answer this question, you can think through some of these secondary questions. What does the reader learn about the characters, the motivations, beliefs, or attitudes through this quote? How is the theme supported or developed in this quote? And how is conflict represented in this quote? To demonstrate, let's look at another quote from The Giver. This comes from the end of chapter 18. The quote is, The Giver looked at him gravely. You must stay away from the river, my friend, he said. The community lost Rosemary after five weeks, and it was a disaster for them. I don't know what the community would do if they lost you. Why was it a disaster? I think I mentioned it to you once. The giver reminded him. 
that when she was gone the memories came back to the people if you were to be lost in the river jonas your memories would not be lost with you memories are forever we're going to focus on the bolded section of the quotation that begins with i think i mentioned it to you once we know that the giver said this quote to jonas but what is the meaning of the quote the author is providing the reader with some essential information about how memories worked in the community in our world if someone is lost their memories are lost with them however in the community and the giver memories are not lost with the person but instead are released into the community thus all community members would then have to deal with memories, including pain, not just the giver. This leads us into the second question. How is this quote connected to another situation found in the text? As we have all read the book, we know that this quote is actually providing us with an example of foreshadowing. At the end of the book, Jonas and the giver will use this information so that Jonas can escape and give the community access to all of the memories that he has received. He does this to restore quality to the community, as he and the giver believe everyone should share the burdens and joys of memories together. Lastly, how does this quote develop the characters, themes, conflict, or other aspects of the text? A key theme in the giver is the importance of memories. As we can see in this quote, the giver says that memories are forever. In the book, this is quite literal. The memories do not disappear if the person holding the memory does. However, we can interpret the quote in a more figurative way. Memories last as long as we keep recounting them. Think about the stories and sayings that have been passed down from generation to generation in your family and your community. Memories can last forever as long as we actively choose to remember and recount them. I hope this gave you an idea about how you can write an answer to a quote analysis question. Use the three main questions we learn to identify key arguments and details that will allow you to come to well thought out answers. This skill will enrich your understanding of the text and help you produce your own unique arguments. To put this into practice, let's give you a short assignment to utilize these questions in a quote analysis. For your assessment this week, we are going to use a quote from the beginning chapters of Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. The quote is from chapter one, page three of the PDF. In 1930, the price of cotton dropped. And so, in the spring of 1931, Papa set out looking for work, going as far north as Memphis and as far south as Delta country. He had gone west too, into Louisiana. It was there he found work laying track for the railroad. He worked the remainder of the year away from us not returning until the deep winter when the ground was cold and barren. The following spring, after the planting was finished, he did the same. Now it was 1933, and Papa was again in Louisiana, laying track. I asked him once why he had to go away, why the land was so important. He took my hand and said in his quiet way, Look out there, Cassie girl. All that belongs to you. You ain't never had to live on nobody's place but your own. And long as I live and the family survives, you'll never have to. That's important. You may not understand that now, but one day you will. Then you'll see. Read the quote a few times. After you have done that, write a quote analysis response that first identifies the speaker of the quote and then answers the three main questions given to you earlier in the video. What is the meaning of this quote? How is this quote connected to another situation found in the text? And how does this quote develop the characters, themes, conflict, or other aspects of the text? Feel free to use Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry as a resource to help you with this assessment. Once you have finished your response, submit it to the Google Classroom. As always, let us know if you have any questions about the assessment or the competencies as a whole. Keep up the good work, make sure you download and start re reading Roll of Thunder, and we will see you next week. Get out of here.